Hi, and welcome to Lesson 2 of the Build Your Own Business Website Tutorial Series. My name is Rick Anderson, and I'll be your instructor throughout the entire series. The goal of this tutorial series is to show how you, with basic word processing and desktop publishing skills, can develop, manage, and maintain your own business web presence. In this series, we will guide you step by step through each process. We will assume that you have no special knowledge of doing this besides being able to use Microsoft Word, Microsoft Publisher, or some other similar type of business productivity software. You won't need to know HTML, CSS, XML, or any of the other technical elements involved in developing a website. In the second lesson, you'll learn how to set up an email account with your new hosting provider. You will learn how to set up and manage other email accounts for your business, and you'll learn how to connect that email account to Outlook 2003 and to your Gmail account. This lesson assumes that you've completed the first lesson, that you have a hosting account with Bluehost, and that you've registered your domain name. If this is not the case, please complete lesson one before continuing. Okay, let's get started. Now before we really get into it, let's open up your email program and find the email that you will have received from Bluehost. They will have sent you this registration email that contains a bunch of important reference information including your domain name, your username, your password, and your name servers. This is information that you want to keep track of, so please save this someplace where it won't be lost. Okay, let's log into Bluehost and sign into our account. The address of that is www.bluehost.com. In our domain name and password, byobtutorial.com enter our password and then select control panel login in this lesson we're going to spend our time in the email accounts so scroll down and select email accounts now you're allowed 2500 email accounts for this hosting account. It seems unlikely you'll need that many, but you certainly are capable of setting up an email account for all of your employees and for anyone else who works with you. And it all starts right here. Now if at some point in this process you sort of get lost in all of this or you want to see a different perspective on it, they also have a nice little video tutorial on how to set up email accounts. So the first thing to do is to set up your first email account which will be your primary email account. Now you can see I've already got mine set up, but we'll go through the steps anyway as if this was a primary account. And so we'll go ahead and put in, say, Bob at byobtutorial.com. We'll enter a password, and we'll enter that password again. and click create. It says the email account was successfully created. Do you want to configure the account to work with an email client? Say yes to that. Now an email client is simply a tool that you use to send and receive email. So Outlook and Gmail are two different email clients. Now the reason we're looking at this screen is that it gives you the setting information you need in order to connect to your email account to Outlook and to other email clients. In the future, there will be a video for configuring Outlook 2007, Outlook Express, and Microsoft Mail. But at the moment, we're just going to configure Outlook 2003 and Gmail, which are the two email programs that I use. So notice this information here for manual settings. We're going to come back to this information later. This is the information that we're going to use as reference when we fill out the email configuration forms. You have mail server username, incoming mail servers, outgoing mail servers, supported incoming mail protocols, and supported outgoing mail protocols. Now it's not important that you really understand all of that. However, you do need to know where the information is when we configure the email clients. Okay, and that wraps up part one of lesson two of the Build Your Own Business Website tutorial series. In the next part of the lesson, we will configure Outlook 2003 to send and receive email using this email address.